Hello everyone, welcome back to GLB Productions. Bruno Luce here with another live sound story for you. So this story involves a bass amplifier and the situation is it's the beginning of sound check and I get called to assist and the bass player, he has a amplifier, bass amplifier on stage. Uh, it's one of the Heart K kickback models and they're using the built-in DI on the front of the amplifier. DI is working, but there's no sound from the amp itself. Now, this is already an unusual situation because typically, if part of the amp doesn't work, the whole thing will be affected. But here, we have the front panel DI working perfectly normally, but the rest of the amplifier is making no sound. Uh, we verified that there's power supply to the amplifier, the power light on the front is on, and this amplifier was known to be working during rehearsal. So what's going on? Well, I play around with the controls a little bit, I verify that power is in fact connected, and then what I do is I go and I get a spare, and I plug in the spare using the same power cable and instrument cable as the original. Now the idea of this is that you only want to change one thing at a time when you're troubleshooting. I do this and everything works fine, the spare amp works fine. So then I go to plug the original base amp back in and as I'm plugging the IEC connector in, I feel something rattling around. So I take a closer look and I discover that on the back of this amplifier, most of the, it's a combo amplifier with the amplifier unit in the top of the cabinet. And I discover that next to the IEC connector where the power plugs in, there is a quarter inch TS jack which carries the amp signal from the amplifier in the combo to the internal speaker. Now, not all combo amps have this, right? On some combo amps, the signal is routed internally and there's no such connection on the back. The reason that amplifier manufacturers do this is that they want you to have the option of disconnecting the internal speaker. Uh, firstly, you might want to run the amp completely silent. For example, say you're using an in-ear system and you want to use the amp DI but not have the speaker activated. That's one possibility. The other possibility is that they want you to have the option of using the internal amplifier to drive a different speaker cabinet. This particular amplifier was a 1x15, maybe you'd like to connect a 4x10 or 2x10, something like that. So in principle, it's a good option to have, right? Because it means that you can use the combo amp for driving different things. The problem is that the quarter inch connector is located right next to where the power plugs in. And as a result, when the power is disconnected, it's very easy to disconnect that quarter inch connector as well, which is exactly what had happened in this case. And with that disconnected, obviously there was no sound. Once it was plugged back in, everything worked just fine. So what do we learn from this? The first thing is if you're working with a combo amplifier and there's no sound, but the amp has power, this is the first thing that you've got to look for, right? On amps where the amplifier signal is routed internally, it's very rare for that connection to fail. But this, in my opinion, is something that's just waiting to happen, so you've got to be aware of it. The second thing is that when you troubleshoot, it's very important that you change only one thing at a time. So in this case, what I'd done is I brought the spare amp out, I'd unplugged the IEC cable and the guitar cable, 
and I plug them into the new amp. That way, if there was sound, I know for certain that the problem was in the amplifier somewhere. It also meant that when I went to plug the IEC back in, I found the loose quarter inch connector. And you know, these are things as, um, as they say in the business that you only do once. <laughs> so again, I hope this was useful. And if you work with this style of amplifier, where, whether it's a bass amp or a keyboard amp or even a guitar amp, you got to be aware that there is that connection, which is just one more thing that needs to be checked. And it's one more thing that might go wrong. This is Bruno Luce for GLB Productions. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.